Well, I'm in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm going to Shields and I'm going fishing. So I'm at, at Shields, like I said, and uh, I'm fishing with that, that dude right there. That's Alec, you guys know the boy. So we, uh, We're going pond fishing in Lincoln. I've never been here, he's been here. It's before. a fire pond. <laughs> Don't say that. You guys know what happened last time. Is it fire? It's a fire spot. This pond sucks. But he said that I need to come get some baits here because I don't have enough lures. Or I didn't bring the right lures, so we're gonna buy some stuff. You got a, I need chatterbait. Hey, uh, find the aisle with the lettuce? Where's the lettuce? All right, well, we work. Pretty good, how are you? Good. It's a very interesting looking camera. I vlog on YouTube. Ah. Yeah, I'm one of those weird people. All I got is a chatterbait. I don't even know why I went in there. I've got plenty of chatterbaits. I don't know why I bought this one. If I don't use it today, comment down below if you want this chatterbait. If I don't use it, I'll give it to you. Because I've got plenty of chatterbaits. I don't know why I bought it. I, to I bought it because I told you guys I was going to buy it. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to the pond. Well, we made it to the pond. We got a pond over here and then behind the camera is a lake. So we're going to spend the evening fishing both of them. It's uh, 512, so we got about two, two and a half hours to fish. Let's catch some bass. All right. <laughs> well, last time I started with the chatterbait, it didn't go very well. So I'm going to redeem myself. We'll see how this goes. Water's dirty, so I'm going with that black and blue chatterbait. Usually a good choice. Oh, there's one. Oh, I broke my PB already. First fish. Comes on the chatterbait. He was right up against the shore. That's, that tells me something. That, that tells me that they're up against the shore. I know, some solid logic to figure that one out, but got a little guy. There's not a ton of weeds here. And normally my, the first thing I start with is uh, a chatterbait because there are weeds. But in the case that there are not a lot of weeds, one of my favorite baits to find them is a, a little square bill and I'm throwing a chartreuse one. The water's got a little bluish, bluish green tint to it, so that's what I'm starting with today. I take that back. There's, uh, there's too many weeds in here for me to throw this crankbait, so I'm gonna go back to the, uh, actually, I'm not gonna go back to chatterbait. I'm gonna throw a wacky Senko. Pulling out the old finesse, wacky. See how they, they like the wacky here. Sometimes wacky is better than Texas rig. It's got a little different action when you work it back. A lot of times, I don't know, it seems like I find myself catching more pond fish on the wacky Senko than a, than a traditional Texas rig, but honestly, it just depends if there's too many weeds. If, if it, there's not many weeds, I go wacky. Gotcha. All right, well, we're, we're, making, we're making a move. Alec wants to go to the other lake. I only caught a dink. I'm the only one that caught a fish here. We're moving. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, I make YouTube videos. Isn't that weird? What's your name? Andrew Flair. Hey, I know who you are. I watch you. What's your name? Andrew. What, your name? Hey. Yeah, my name is Andrew too. What? Andrew and Andrew. What's your name? Mason. Mason. All right. Shout out to those homies. Just cause. What should I throw over here? Um, I usually use a wacky worm. Oh, I already got one on. All right. All right, we're good to go. Andrew gave me the, the secret tactic, so we're gonna catch some pigs. I should go and get my rod. Yeah, come join us. Come catch some fish. We'll see how this new pond is. Yeah, I definitely need the yak here. That'd be pretty sweet. All right, this wacky worm is trash. Where's my, where's my chatterbait at? Oh, oh, hated it. Oh, I had one. Son of a gun. Also, I have a knot, like, what is that? What did I catch? It's just weeds. It jumped on my line like a fish. Dude, the, that weed crushed my chatterbait. That was, a, that was probably my PB weed, to be honest with you. Should we try the other spot again? Yeah, I would. All right, well, we're moving again. No luck on the other pond, so we're, we're gonna cross the street and go to the other side again, where I just was, where I caught that small one earlier. Let's see if we can uh, catch some more fish. All right. Let's go with the chatterbait. Since I caught a fish already on a chatterbait, why not stick to that?
So my technique for this chatter bait, I mean, there's not really a, a technique or anything, but you just kind of want to chuck and wind it. You want to vary your retrieve. Sometimes you want to just go super slow. Sometimes you want to go kind of quick. You can also do a start and stop type deal where you kind of move your rod tip a little bit. Any of those really work. You basically just need to let the fish tell you what you want or what they want. There's not like, I don't like show up too late and only throw chatterbait one way and expect to catch fish. I usually just keep varying the retrieves, vary the colors, vary the trailers until I get bit. We'll see, we'll see if this works. Well guys, while I'm over here, uh, not catching fish look at this caught a freaking donkey it was two and a half two and a half is what it weighed and your name's andrew yep so he's gonna take over my channel and that's just gonna be andrew outdoors <laughs> oh my god there you go nice fish dude lab. at least one andrew caught a fish Let's see if they eat the frogs in this lake Oh gosh, there's one. Woo! I caught one. one. Nope, just another squeak. I'm really trying hard to find big, big fish, big fish ponds, ponds with big fish for you guys to film. This is a pond I've never been to. So, I mean, there might be big fish in here. There might not be. I'm catching small ones. You guys should be used to this by now, but we're making progress. We're catching some fish. See you later, Jonathan. Oh yeah, I kind of like that. We, uh, we're making a game time uh, move to the dam. I don't know, okay, this is, this is getting in. We're making a game time move to, uh, the dam, we've got like 15 minutes of fish. We gotta make it back here in like 15 minutes, so. Let's so, do it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna catch a giant. Well, oh my God, I just about slipped and fell. Well, we are, uh, we're at our last spot. It's getting dark. I'm gonna try to catch one more fish before the night is over. 8.01 p.m. Well, I suck at fishing. I'm selling my YouTube channel, and you guys want it, just comment comment down below. Oh, yeah, if you want that chatterbait as well, I didn't use that. You comment down below. Tomorrow. Well, guys, so this video was not that good. You know, I'm sitting here editing it, I'm like, wow, should I even post this? Like, I caught two dinks. Like, like is that really worth posting a video? But, I mean, you, you guys let me know down in the comment section below. Like, like... Would you rather me see this video or just no video at all? I mean, maybe you guys would rather only see really good fishing content and only want me to upload the best of the best, or you guys just want me to upload fishing because it's a fishing channel and you guys just want to see me go fishing and try new ponds. Let me know down below. I know I've asked you to comment a lot of stuff, but just let me know. So in this video, I was fishing a brand new pond, actually two ponds, and I don't know if there were even big bass in that pond. I assume so. I mean, I don't know. There, I could have caught the two only fish in that pond. I really have no idea. But I wanted to bring you guys along and ex show you the experience that I had. And maybe you guys learned something. Maybe you want to go fish a new pond and maybe you picked up some chatterbait tips. As a, I was talking about my retrieval and that type of stuff. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to make this into a video. And I know you guys like watching the long video. Some of you guys don't. So if you guys only want to see fishing, you should click out like right now. But if you guys want to see me answer a couple Q&A questions, fan mail unboxing, and then a throwback Thursday where I'm going to play a clip from a, while, a long, long time ago of me just catching a fish, just, just because, I don't know, I, I think it's just interesting. I just want to mix it up. I don't want to make the same old videos. I want to throw something new in it. So I'm going to answer a couple questions, open a few packages, show a throwback Thursday. So we'll start with the uh, the packages here. Which is the reason why I'm doing this is because I have so much fan mail that came through that if I don't just start opening a couple packages here and there in a lot of my videos that I'm never gonna get around to doing it. So, oh, here we go. So they sent a uh, chartreuse crankbait. This is actually very similar to what I was throwing earlier. Uh, in this video, I picked up that chartreuse crankbait when I thought it wasn't weedy and it ended up being weedy. But thank you so much for that. Dear Andrew Flair, my name is Dylan. Fuqua. I have a channel called Fishing with Fuqua. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's F-U-Q-U-A. 
I was wondering if you'd give me a shout out in the video, it'd be amazing. Please sign and send back to me. And he, uh, he printed out my, my YouTube banner. So I will sign this and send it back to you, Dylan. Thank you so much for the chartreuse crankbait. I should probably give this to Parrick in case he runs into any blue water. So now I'm gonna answer a uh, couple Q&A questions. One from Father and Son Kayak Fishing, where can I get your watch? Nowhere. From Choco Flan. I right, my boy. I'm 14, I live in Louisiana. I want a setup that I can use for pond bass and lake pond char train, catfish, reds, and gar. Rod, reel, line, hit me up. Well, Coco or Choco, whatever you are, my boy. For a good all-around rod for any species, I would, if you're doing bait casters, I would suggest seven foot, medium, or medium heavy, fast action. I, for what you want in catfish, I'd probably go medium heavy, but you can go with the medium. The reel, pick something that's between 6.4 to one and 7.1 to one. And for a line, I would suggest 30 to 50 pound braid or about 15 to 17 pound fluorocarbon. Next, Calvin Master says, you set the hook like a goof. Thanks, Calvin. Hayden Adkins asks, what age did you start fishing? When I was like three, maybe four years old, I was a, I was a little dude. All right, let's uh, keep the fan mail rolling. Just gonna open one more for time's sake, but uh, we'll see what we got in here. Oh, we got lures. That's all I got, there's no note. Who's this from? I have no idea. Well, whoever sent me the uh, the bag of soft plastics, these uh, these dudes and some some Sankos, whoever whoever sent me these, uh, thank you very much. I don't know who you are. If you guys are gonna send me stuff, PO box down below, please send me like a note or who it is. I feel bad not being able to say your name on camera. Benjamin Chung asks, how do you know if ponds have bass in them? And how do you find them? Well, this video is exactly what I did. I found them on Google Maps. You Google map it and you go drive by to see if there's a private sign or a public sign. And in this case, there was it was public. They had a sign that said it was public. And how do you know if there's bass in the lake? Well, you just go fishing. That's what I did in this video. Like I said, I don't know. Maybe there's no fish in that lake. Maybe there's only a couple. Maybe there's 2,000 and I'm just a really sucky angler. Maybe I just had an off day. Maybe the weather was bad. I don't know. But I would totally suggest going to Google Maps, finding some ponds, um, even if they are private, go knock on some doors. If, the, if it's like a housing development around it, a lot of times the, ha the homeowners will let you fish it. So that's what I would do. So that's basically all I got for this episode. Again, I apologize for the small fish and very few fish, but it happens. We all have these days and I feel like I still wanted to share. I, I, I gave you some tips while I was fishing. So I was like, why not? Why not share some of those tips that I gave you? But right now, going to a throwback Thursday. Yes, 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 yes. There's one. Keep whining. Don't stop whining. Don't stop whining. Don't stop whining. Let's go. Keep whining. <laughs> Keep whining. Oh, oh let's go. One, let's go. You're going to have to go get it. You're going to have to go Just get it. Just go down for it? Yep. Come here. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Woo. Oh, my God. That's what I'm talking about. Holy smokes! Oh, baby! Oh my gosh! You see that? That's what I'm talking about. We gotta beat 6-9. What do we got? Oh, you're way, you're way past 6-9. 7-6? 7-6. New seven. PV, baby! Yes! Don't wanna go. There she goes. Yes! Oh, yes.